Hi Aquarius, this is your April reading. So this is for anyone Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is also if you're spying on an Aquarius. I know that we're halfway through April, um, but better late than never, yeah? <laughs> so your reading is going to cover the general theme or lesson for Aquarius in April, your money, your career, your love life, whether you're single or coupled, um, how other people perceive you this month, your emotional self, and then your crystal of the month. So let's get started. Okay, Aquarius, what's going on in general? And they're saying you might not be feeling tremendous compassion for other people this month. Um, and so going out of your way to actively share love is going to be something um, or somewhat of a goal for you, okay? Now this could be one specific person or one specific circumstance that you're not exactly loving and no one would blame you, but try to stretch yourself in order to do that. In regards to money and career, it's like things might not feel super comfortable right now. However, everything's working out for your highest good and you're gonna come out on top of this situation, whatever it is, okay? Things are gonna work out to your advantage. So they're like, don't change anything. If you're thinking of jumping ship because maybe at your corporate job, like they're going through some changes, no, this is gonna be to your benefit. Stay doing what you're doing. Um, keep working on these projects that you're working on because everything's working out for your highest good and there is success there. They say big lucky energy is coming for you, okay? And things that are gonna make your life better like on an emotional level with friends, like with your work-life balance in regards to money, all this stuff, like in every way imaginable, if you just stay the course, things are gonna get really good for you. And they're like, without you doing anything, without you making new decisions or, cha or changing anything, so just, just stick to it, okay? Now in regards to your love life, if you are a single Aquarius, what's up? They're saying the details are not important. Um, you just wanna be in a relationship. Um, okay, is that a healthy way to think? They're like, well, that's kind of what the majority of you have decided. <laughs> they said, because you're trying to control things more than you're probably capable of doing, okay? Because everything happens in divine timing, and so if you're trying to dictate like when or how a soulmate comes in for you, that's not the way it works, and so you're just like, fuck it, I'll be with this person. But your energy is very much like Taurus's energy this month where you're extra super attractive, like you can have pretty much anyone you want. People are gonna be looking at you and they're like, this is the kind of person that I wanna be with, I wanna grab onto them, and I wanna never let them go. But the thing is, is that a lot of these people are not worth your time and you probably know that. So you've gotta go walk away you know, from potential mates or matches um, that could be a little bit of drama or chaos or, or just like not that good. <laughs> because if you do that, you know, you're in a really good position where you could end up with somebody who is for your highest good, who is going to be drama free, that they're a really great communicator, like, and they actually give you your space. Because some of you are like, I just want to be in a relationship. So you end up with somebody really possessive this month. And it's like, that's not Aquarius's style. You got to be able to go where the wind blows you and like have your freedom and your time with your friends. And they're like, so you don't want to end up in a relationship that's a lot of work or it's hard. They say this month you can have a relationship that's easy. So it's better for you to be single and wait for the right person to come through as opposed to being coupled just because you want to be in a relationship. Okay. Now, for those of you who are already in a relationship, they're saying this relationship could grow into something like bigger and more beautiful than you ever thought possible. Like you're going to get everything that you want out of this. They say, um, make sure that you take time out for yourself though. It's really, really important that you take time to rest. It's a decision that you have to make. If you don't, you'll get sick and you will be forced to rest. Um, but just like the single Aquarius, you are extra sexy this month. Um, so be aware. <laughs> you could get a little fatigued with all of your, uh, with all of this stuff going on. You know, your partner might be extra demanding this month, but it'll be good because you'll feel good about it. It'll be very emotionally fulfilling kind of lovemaking as well. So how are other people perceiving Aquarius in general this month and they're saying like you really got your shit together like you're the kind of person that they do want to possess and hold on to um, People are just putting you on a pedestal this month. You are radiating. It's it's like um, the Taurus energy as well as the cancer energy Where like if the Sun stopped shining you'd shine in its place like you are on fire um, so anyway other people are like oh my gosh this person's amazing where have they been all my life um, whether even not in, not necessarily even in a romantic sense, it's just like, it might be extra easy to make friends this month. Well, Aquarius always make friends very easy, but 
my point is, is it's like, oh my gosh, this is like my best friend forever. I feel it. Like, where have they been my whole life? I've always needed a friend like this. This is like the coolest person I've ever met. Or, oh my gosh, I really need this person um, as a consultant to my business or, you know, like to freelance this or that or whatever. Like, people are just like, wow, where have you been hiding? You are fucking amazing. So if you needed an ego boost, you'll definitely get it in April. Um, what about your emotional self? What's going on with you on the inside? And they're saying this is a time for adventure, for creativity, for fun, to get out there and do things that are maybe a little bit dangerous yet exciting. This is a month for you to um, not necessarily work so much on your spiritual practice, but just doing what makes you happy, even if it's a little bit scary. And they're saying like, you know, the universe is trying to give you all of these gifts and, um, just be open to it because some of you aren't they're saying like the universe is basically trying to push all of this fun like awesome stuff at you and it really doesn't have to be that deep you just have to be open to receive it so like whenever somebody tries to give you something like hold a door open or pay for lunch just be like thank you thank you because you're showing the universe that hell yes i'm open to receive the blessings that you're trying to give me this is going to be a really good month for a lot of aquarians so um, now let's talk about your crystal. Your crystal of the month is clear quartz. Isn't it cute? Look at that. So this is known as the universal stone because it actually does everything. And if you already make crystal grids or you use crystals, this is um, fantastic because it just amplifies the power of everything else. So if you were trying to make a grid to attract more money, you might put some pyrite in there, you might put some citrine, some jade, and then if you had this as your center stone, it just like <laughs> amplifies it. All of a sudden then you're just receiving money everywhere, that kind of a thing. Um, so anything you're trying to do, this helps with everything and anything, it just amplifies whatever it is you're asking for. Especially when it's in a cluster formation because it shoots energy in every which direction, right? All of these points. So um, it'll calm you down, it'll cleanse other stones, it'll cleanse the room, it'll cleanse your aura. That's about all I have to say about it. So if you're interested in learning more about it, you can check out my website. There's a link below in Love and Light.